Hey everyone, thanks for joining in. It's been a little while since I've done one of these real-time edits. I've been working on a lot of other video stuff, but wanted to jump in and do this photo here of a hermit thrush that I shot, um, specifically backlit. And bummer, I had the lens flare. Like I really didn't want that, but the bird landed there so quickly and it happened so fast, I didn't have time to readjust my angle to get rid of the lens flare. So I'm gonna see how I can deal with it here. So first things first, I'm just gonna lighten up the exposure a little bit, warm it up a little bit, less magenta. Shadows up just a little actually because I just want a little bit more detail on the bird and then I'll crank these blacks back down. And now it's going a little too green so I'll go back more magenta. And I think what I really wanna do, like the vision I had for the shot and kinda of how it looked to me is when the lens flare wasn't there was just a solid black background. I mean, it was really dark background and just a little spotlight of sun on this bird. So I'm gonna see if I can recreate that in post here. So gradient to adjust that lens flare a little darker, then I'm gonna drop another one on this side to go even darker on this end. And then I think the rest at this point is gonna happen in Photoshop. So let's hop over there. Oops, not sure what I did there. Okay. Make a clone layer. Just clean up some of these little weird marks. And I'm just gonna get rid of these little branches here. Just because they're pulling my eye. Not in love with them. And then it did get a little funky there, so let me clean that up with the clone tool. And then let me actually put the line of light back in on the branch since that accidentally got removed. And there we go. All right, so. First things first, I'm gonna try and just blacken out that background entirely. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I'll go like that so it's not, so there's just a little indication of that lens flare there. So I think that's pretty good actually. So uh, what I'm gonna do now at this point is actually cut out the bird precisely. And so this is gonna be the long, boring part. So feel free to skip ahead. Here we go, sorry, I was doing that on the wrong opacity. I never have my opacity at a lower amount, but I was teaching someone earlier that doesn't use a tablet, and so I had to show them how I lower the opacity when you actually mouse retouch. But when you're using a graphics tablet, you don't need to do that because the pen pressure actually just handles that. So I'm not used to having my opacity down off of 100 because I always control that with the pressure sensitivity on the graphics tablet here, the Wacom tablet. Anyway, I figure I can talk about some of that boring stuff while I'm doing this boring work. So I'm just gonna edge out this bird here. And for anyone who's curious um, how I'm kind of connecting the dots here, uh, you simply hold shift on the keyboard and just click along and Photoshop connects the dots. It's pretty cool. And it does that with any brush tool. So that's your tip of this video. So it's real convenient to work along straight lines like that. Um, these soft feathers here, I'm just gonna come back and do with a different brush in a little bit. Might actually use a selection technique, not sure yet, but, uh, and again, down here, I'm gonna worry about blending those feet in, these lovely long pink legs. Love how long the legs are on these uh, hermit thrush. You know, they're always skulking around in the swamps and in the water and stuff like that. So they need those long legs to manage that. I'm gonna soften the brush up a little bit, get along this edge here. Cause now the 
back of the bird starting to get out of focus. This guy, this bird landed in pretty close to me, so hence my depth of field was really shallow. And so the tail already is getting pretty out of focus, which is fine with me. I don't mind that look. And thanks for bearing with me for this part. This is always the boring part, this masking, cutting birds out kind of thing. But it's what allows me to get pretty precise on the look I want on this photo. And just about done playing a good old game of connect the dots here. And there we go. All right. So just magic on that. Expand the selection. Fill it in. Got to fix this spot where I use the softer brush. And then I just got to fix along the uh, soft feathers along the bottom. Almost forgot about that. So let's use a soft brush and just kind of. I'm going to use lower opacity, so this is where I'm controlling the opacity with the pressure sensitivity on the tablet here, on the pen. And just kind of fading that in a little bit. Do some of the same down here with these feathers. And that should do it. So, I'm going to save this selection. And you can see how weird it looks, right? It makes absolutely no sense that the bird is that light with something that dark around it. So let's darken the bird and make it look more normal here. There we go. That seems a little bit more appropriate contrast wise, but we'll also brighten it up. Also means I can back off of this because now I have some of the uh, actual uh, the layer below darkening the background. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna let that side go black. I think that's kind of cool. Um, maybe just a little bit more on the the black end here on the bird. And then um, on this really dark layer, I'm actually gonna fade it out right around uh, the bird and this perch. So I'm gonna let some more of that lens flare show through. That kind of so make it like it's highlighting like the stage here where this bird is hanging out. Um, I do want the bird's head and eye to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to punch that up just a little bit. Load the selection so I make sure I'm only painting inside of there. There we go. We'll lighten that up. Then I want to show the catch light a little bit more. As you can see, a little bit of that reflection of the sky in the eye there. I'm going to enhance the glow on the bill there because I think that's pretty neat. And gosh, I I think that's about it. I just I do need to worry about the feet here. I can kind of see how that's getting pretty funky with the blend there. I'm just going to go back and forth to try and kind of smooth that out. Yeah, look, its feet just kind of go dark anyway because they're in the shade, which makes sense. Love seeing that glow on the legs. <laughs> that's so great. Um. Boy, I think that's about it on this photo. Um, you know, maybe I'm just going to get rid of some of that wash up top there in just a little bit of an arcing pattern here. So, yeah, there we go. Maybe something like that. And I think that's a finished piece right there. Yep. So that's kind of the vision I had for this photo. Uh, so let me hop back into Photoshop real quick or I'm sorry, Lightroom, and I'll show you guys the total before and after. Going to be a big change on this one. This is definitely a, a heavier edit than I would normally do, um, and it's due to the lens flare. You know, I think this shot would looked, would have looked pretty close to this at a camera had the lens not just caught the one edge of that, uh, or had the sun not caught the one edge of that, that frame. Uh, but all the ones, I didn't get any without lens flare. And it, even if I had, this bird just did not stay there long enough. So big difference, you know, uh, this is kind of how it looked to my eye there. Cause you know, when the sun is in my eye, it wasn't glaring like this. This is just what happens when it hits the front of the lens. And, um, you know, it, it's, so I, I feel like I'm still keeping it in the spirit of what it actually looked like to me that day. 
And uh, also, it's just, you know, at a certain point, it's my own uh, artistic vision as a photographer, I think, to kind of set up this photo to be the way I want it, or to edit it, I should say. Um, and I will probably mention some of that when I share this, but uh, in any case, there we go. There's the end result. Pretty dramatic photo. I really love it. The glow from the sun when it just hit that spotlight of uh, sun in this dark, swampy area. It was really, really cool. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.